Destiny 2 is too easy, so I made it hard. Now, I am at max level, so going back to 1600 is obviously going to make everything in the game a heck of a ton harder. So, I did pull out Galhorn because this video was supposed to originally be about going back to Destiny 1 roots and seeing how far like a traditional Destiny loadout could get us. But I couldn't find anything else that was like normal. Like you can't get Fatebringer 60 or at 1600. So I couldn't really run my Fatebringer build, or not build, but Fatebringer loadout <laughs> with Galahorn like I would normally do in Destiny 1. So I tried to get stuff as close to Destiny 1 as I could. But throughout the video, I said, screw that. Let's just run around and see how difficult every part of the game is at 1600. So you see me loading into the EDZ here and joining a public event. And I, I did switch to Kvostov. <laughs> Screw the husk of the pit. But I switched to Kvostov and it was super fun. I haven't played with it in a, in a while. So I really do miss the exotic version of it. I wish they bring it back because the exotic version of it was kind of fun. Kind to our first official death dying to a cabal drop pod that's so very me if you know my videos from way before i had a whole like three to four like shorts youtube shorts of me just dying to cabal drop pods <laughs> my second death into this lost sector so the shotgun stubborn oak, stubborn oak can actually proc radiant due to the uh, artifact mods i totally forgot about the artifact and I, if I remembered, I would have disabled it or, you know, taken all of the perks off. But I kind of just forgot about it. So, eh, no, no, no harm really in that one. Now, I went on to Neomuna because Neomuna, death again, but Neomuna's patrol, if you didn't know, is harder than every other patrol in the game because it actually scales to a higher power level. Now, I am at the, I think it was the overtime or whatever over event and it makes everything even harder so yes you are seeing me just only hit immunes even with the galahorn i was shocked like i was actually shocked when i couldn't hit anything with the galahorn <laughs> so i immediately just went to another patrol area just to see how hard it actually would be on yomuna and yeah you can get kills there but eh it's still a lot, you know, it's not impossible, so it's good. So I went to the Lost Sector there, and yeah, Im impossible. So Lost Sectors are a no, and the Overtime area is no. So I went to the Legendary Mission Downfall, and it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I haven't played this mission in so long. So I'm just testing out the capabilities of the Galahorn, seeing where the damage is. I, pretty much the same as the Patrol, kind of. And yeah, we're just I'm just testing out, let's see, testing out how hard can a war beast hit me. Because that's gonna be very important for later on in this video. And turrets as well. Learning turrets and learning the damage of dying. Learning the damage values of a lot of things early on in this uh, run or video helped me immensely know how much I can or how much I should play safely and play in cover. Now, I did get to this part, utilizing the grenade was very, very good because the grenade does a lot of damage. The grenade, the super, which you'll see now, throw back to the vortex grenade from, or vortex super from Destiny 1, since they don't have the lance, uh, the lance for Nova Bomb anymore, which is terrible. They should bring that back immediately. But yeah, using those things, they do the best damage. The Vortex Grenade, the Nova Bomb, and Galahorn do the most damage, so those are going to be my go-tos. So I can't really spam them too much, because it takes like 2 minutes and like 40 seconds to get a grenade, because of how bad these stats are on the base armor. Turrets are probably the hardest enemy in the game right now, because they eat at your health, and I can't use rifts, and I can't use the melee, so there's no way to really proc, and I can't proc Devour. That's a strong strong reason why this was way harder than it should have been honestly if i was able to proc devour i could easily solo this mission in like five minutes tops trust me but no devour and nothing yeah 
just very very rough because everything gets you one shot so fast <laughs> like you just saw all right so a simple jumping you know I'm just slipping from everything I hate warlock jumps sometimes I've made war warlock for about five to six years I think fully and the jumps are still the worst part about the class to me like <laughs> it makes zero sense to fail at jumping puzzles this deep into my destiny career like i've been playing destiny since i was a kid and i still have yet to get the jumps down for some reason so obviously we all know what this means when they regenerate health you know i was like huh what why but <laughs> Classic bungee moment, guys. You're about to see this. Nova Bomb. One shot. No one moving. Yes. Error code. Classic bungee moment. Spinach has been happening a lot to me lately. Way more so than months ago. Than, like, yeah, a few months back. Like, it started happening mainly last month. In trials at first. And then it just spread to every other part of the game. And I don't know what it is. Uh, it's so bad sometimes. Hopefully it's a them issue and not me because I don't notice any other thing or any other issues on any other game except for Destiny 2. So I kind of caught myself into a really hard spot around here. So I, I, I don't have any galley so I can't really just blow it, the Colossus up so fast. So I'm going to Kvost of them to death. Just going to, you know, keep bearing down on his shields. In this little glitch spot where he, I can shoot him and he can't shoot me. So, <laughs> very, very fun fight. Very, very engaging fight, guys. Yep, we're still here. We are still here, Kvostoving him to death. <laughs> you never really notice how much health these guys have because I'm just scared to get one shot by him. I'm not even going to try to see how much damage he does. Now... Here we go with the most difficult part of the entire video. Well, you know, the mission itself or the bot, the room itself isn't hard at all. It's just juggling enemies, making sure that I'm protecting my environment and making sure I know where every enemy is because something can sneak up on me and like two shot me and I have no real ability to heal. So I, I'm just screwed and it will have to, you know, I'm had to reset and restart and that would suck. <laughs> I could have made this video even more interesting if I just on every death restart the entire mission. Like a, a manual extinguish modifier, but I would have actually hated myself if I did that. Like look at how much damage these things do and then they can sneak up on you in, in groups of like four and five. That's insta-death if I don't pay attention. Another part about this uh, room is that there's not so much cover just due to death. But another, <laughs> there's not too much cover because of how the Cabal fight with the Cabal de frag detonators. There's not too much room because they shoot them out and they just explode. And you don't want to be close to them because you don't want to test how far the range is. Because you just insta die two of them, I guess. But yeah, these guys not too hard, honestly. I made it more difficult than it than I should have. I really could have just ran up to these guys and shotgun them to death. But I kind of played peekaboo with <laughs> this one. <laughs> I just got bored. I, I just get bored in, in in between this. It was it was just funny peekabooing him to death and just randomly dying there. Nice. Getting rid of these things were my main priority as well because them having extra shields was going to make my life a lot harder. So using some galley shots at appropriate timings to clear a lot of ads at once was a great decision that I started to go in with this run. I finally got Radiance of Proc there and it was a surprise because I haven't seen it all video. I'm starting to panic just due to being dumb and getting stuck there. That was a fun death. That was a funny death. I love resetting right there. I thought I was getting pretty far, but it, you know, yeah. Moving on to this run right here. I, pr I played a little bit more aggressively on this one, getting closer to them. 
burning a one rocket or two in the in the beginning. Get, got it back though, so it was pretty good. <clears throat> like I said, I'm just playing a slow, taking care of the uh, shields, just so they don't have any extra sh health or anything like that. So it makes it easier for me to be aggressive and playing up towards them, because I think Scions are probably the most underwhelming part of them, but can also potentially be the worst of them because of that psionic blast that they have. So I took no... Di I, I played no games with them. <laughs> so... We finally get to the Tormentor spot. Now, I was lost because I hadn't played this since it came out, so... But I'm doing good damage with the Kvostov. Like, that's actually solid damage for a Kvostov. And then... This happens. <laughs> you guys should have actually saw my live reaction to that. That was interesting. That was a... Cr I was so shocked. Because where did he come from? I was so surprised when he ran up on me that fast and sent me flying. That was hilarious. I think I was kind of mad though in the beginning though, or, or at the moment. Once again, just showing how fast I can die from these war beasts. But the shotgun makes it super simple to take care of them. I'm glad I chose the shotgun. If I had chose the sidearm for this, oh my gosh, that would have been terrible. So we're just going along. Super simple run right here, you know, and <laughs> fragment death, frag detonator. All right, back to the tormentor, round two, back in the ring. Now I stayed a little bit left this time to make sure I could see him when he's running up on us, or running up on me. And he does a little side spin, of course. I try to go back and forth to dodge it. I play a little dumb here, slide out, like why would I go to no cover? And that's de death. <sighs> well, I enjoyed this video. Hope you guys did too. Leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, peace.